Today we are going to talk about planners. Um, I have had a lot of different planners over the year. I over the years I've had um, ring bound planners. I've had um, the passion planner. I've had a full focus planner. <clears throat> I've had one that was called good busy planner. I've had a day designer. I've had the simplified planner, um, lots and lots of planners and never could find one that I really loved. But this is what I'm going to be using in 2023. Um, and I think this is going to work really well for me. This is an A5, um, ring planner. This brand is Filofax, but you can find an A5 planner um, anywhere. I'll put some some links to some to a range of planners in the description, but I wanted this one in particular because it was leather and I knew the company and I felt good about um, the quality and it is a, a really beautiful planner. Um, so because it's November, um, I actually got it in October I didn't want to buy inserts for 2022. So I used, um, I actually tore the guts out of a couple of the planners that I had been using. See, like I had a, this is a new one. I'm not going to tear this one up, but I was using this full focus planner um, by Michael Hyatt. And I actually just tore the whole, tore the pages out and, and cleaned them up. I'll show you, um, I'll show you what that looked like in my binder. Um, but just to show you, everything's homemade. I haven't bought anything. Um, I, I wanted to use it before I, I made any purchases. So these are little, um, pieces of watercolor paper that I just wrote on and put little washi tape and I made little washi tape tabs. Um, and this is just a little habit tracker. I wanted these right here in the front of my planner so that I would see them every day. A lot of times with habit trackers, if they're not right in front of me, um, I don't notice them. So this is, I've actually five different habit trackers. Some I'm doing better on than others. And then I have a, a sheet that has my goals. And then I have one other one that was sitting in here and I've moved it. Um, this is, this came with the file facts, this little clear, I can't remember, it's got a name, but I don't, I don't remember what it's called. And then this little um, postcard is something that I had made on Canva. Um, and if you like it, you can actually purchase a, a digital file on, um, Etsy and I'll, I'll link to that. Um, but here's what I did. So this is actually the pages of a full focus planner and I just tore them out. Um, and then I cleaned them up with a, with a paper cutter and put washi tape around the edges. And I, I um, went back and just taped in some pictures of some of the things that we had done. I used my planner as um, some memory keeping as well as like goal setting and, and habit tracking. So this is what, so this is a good, here, let me open this up so you can see. Um, so you can see like this, uh, this was torn out and I cut did not cut very well, but I just punched little holes with a single hole punch. Um, and I was glad that I did that because it helped me see like what, what I liked about this page setup and what I didn't like. One of the decisions that you'll need to make as a planner is, do you want to have like, this is two pages a day, um, which probably feels like a lot to fill up for some people. But for me, I loved it because I love to journal and I love, I have lots of words. So I liked writing. So here's just some more pages. This is October. 
Let's keep going. October. This was fun. I don't know if you can see this, but this is, there's a stationery shop in DC called Jenny Blick. And um, about that time I had heard of the Hobonichi planners. And so I wanted to, I actually wanted to buy one and they, they sell them at Jenny Blick's, but they were out of stock, but they did have a sample that I could flip through, which was very gratifying. I realized that this weekend optimizer that's in the full focus planner, don't need it. I don't enjoy looking at it. All right, so pages. I find on Sundays, I don't really walk that much, uh, write that much. I did like um, full focus as a weekly review. So I think going forward, I'll probably do something like this because it's a good way to kind of touch base with your goals and see if you're actually moving forward with them. Dun, da, da. Just keep moving. I, I was curious if I would enjoy like a column uh, set up instead of um, writing the full length of this area. So I just use washi tape to make little columns. Um, I realized I didn't really care that much. It didn't make a difference, but it's nice to just kind of play around with different setups and figure out what's going to work for you. Again, weekend optimizer. Don't love. I do like weekly reviews. I'm going to try to incorporate that. And then here you see, there's, Oct I mean, yeah, that's Halloween. Here you see, I started to incorporate, I ran out of pages of the full focus planner and I started doing, this is the, this, these are pages from the passion planner. Um, it's funny cause there's different aspects of different planners that I really like. And so what I love about a ring bound planner is I can customize it and figure out exactly what I want and make my own little, um, sheets to go in it. So I do like, um, in the passion planner, they have a self check-in, um, a monthly self check-in. I really like that. And it also had a way to kind of work through your game changer goal for the month. And I did like that. Um, this is me still just playing around with different ideas. I tried, um, I actually drew this from a picture that I took of my front entryway, um, I, I'm not an artist, but I do enjoy just playing around. So um, that was kind of fun. And um, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out like stickers versus drawing. Stickers are a whole lot faster, um, but there's something, something restful about drawing in your planner too. It's really just a personal preference. Then I went and found some old stickers uh, that are uh, Alice in Wonderland, and um, I was like, yeah, I don't, I'm not really, I just put them in there just to see what it would look like, and not a fan. Um, here's me drawing again. I drew on this, and I realized, like, I don't know that I can draw with color pencils and then try to write over it, because this just feels frantic. To me i asked on instagram i took a picture of this page and asked on instagram if it felt fun or chaotic and people were actually split but most people said chaotic and that's kind of how i felt about it too um, but again it's fun to try stuff out and just figure it out i tried to do this i actually tried to do this in lighter colors but as you can see it's not very light um i'm curious if i did like really light pastels and then um, really light pastel watercolors and then wrote over it if that would work. Um, but there's something distracting to me about how bright the colors are and then trying to write over it. Um, I am drawn towards lots of colors, but it does end up being visually a little, it's hard to see everything. It's kind of chaotic. Then I tried, this was another experiment. These are stickers that I made um, in Canva. Well, I put I put all of the pictures in Canva just on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper because I have some, 
some adhesive papers. They're actually address labels that are like two to a sheet. And um, I was just curious to see if I would enjoy stickers of my own photos better. And I did like them. Um, it's just a little time consuming and I don't know that I'm gonna have photos of what I've done every single week. Um, but it was still fun, still fun to play around with that. Then I actually also, you can see, I'm really running the gamut of all the different things you can do. Um, these are pictures in a magazine that I cut out that were just really beautiful to me. These were, that's from Country Living. This is from Southern Living. And then I just put a little quote on top of it. Um, I'm a hodgepodge kind of person, so it shows up in this. Um, these are again, like just stickers that I printed. The other thing I didn't like about it is I don't have a great printer and I don't, everything, the colors aren't gonna be really true. But then I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I really care. Like it doesn't have to be like, you know, it's not going in a book. It's just kind of fun to have for memory keeping. So, so I'm still on the fence about that. It's planners. Then I, I had like, these are sheets that I, I bought the digital files from Illustrated Faith a while ago. They may have even been freebies. I can't remember. Um, but I just printed them on printer paper and cut them out and, and taped them in there. They're not stickers. They're just taped in. Um, just kind of playing around that same thing. These are stickers I made. These are printer paper little things that I've cut out. These are actually stickers that I bought. Um, it, it, you know, I don't know. They're okay. So let's see. I tried a meal plan. I don't like this. It feels chaotic. I tried to like actually type up a meal plan and print it out, but the the words were so small that you couldn't even really read it. So I, I still need to play around with this because I do think a meal plan, a weekly meal plan would be really helpful to have in my planner. Um, so I'm not giving up on this, but I just realized I don't, I don't think I want to write it out. My handwriting isn't great and I tend to have a hard time staying on the lines um, and I'd rather see it look neater. So I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do meal plans. Um, then I made these just to see if I liked, one of the things I noticed in the planners that I have is they didn't have a weekly layout. And I've been watching a lot of um, YouTube videos and a lot of people have weekly spreads. And I think that I would like a weekly spread. I still, this is, this is, this is this week and I'm still like, I'm doing this today and I'm still trying to figure out like how I would actually use this. Um, just, I love the colors. Um, I thought that was really pretty. And then I also tried just a one page and had it, um, horizontal weekly instead of the two page vertical weekly. Um, so, I don't know. And then, yeah, here we are. One more thing. I do love um, just putting pictures. <laughs> I'm like a kid. Do you remember growing up? Um, did you ever do this? Cut out pictures of magazines? I'm still, I'm still doing it. Still enjoy it. Um, they give me a lot of joy, and it feels like I'm recycling like the happiest parts of the magazine. So, um, oh, but this is. So I think this is today. Yeah. Um, these pages I ripped out of a passion planner and it's been good to use them because in a passion planner, in the one that I had, it was undated and it was two pages per day. So you would have this on your left hand side and then just basically a blank space on your right hand side. And I um, realized like, this is this just doesn't speak to me these um categories that are over here i know a lot of people really love the passion planner but um i was like yeah i don't the focus and the one word and the mood none of this just really 
spoke to me. So it's good to know that because um, moving forward, that's not, these categories are not things that I want to include. Um, yeah, and then I was going to show you, so here we are today. Um, this little sh sheet, this is watercolor paper that I made, and this is like what I want to do in the morning and then what I want to do in the evening. Um, and I am just, right now I'm just moving it every day so that I always can see it. So I had enough of my passion planner to go through. Oh, and these little tab pages are obviously homemade. This, um, when I bought the file effects, it came with some inserts. I didn't really like them. Um, it's funny because I bought, I bought this planner from, instead of buying it used, which is what I normally do, I bought it new, um, from the company because I really wanted the 2023 inserts to be in it. And, um, I don't love them, which is kind of funny. I could have saved myself a lot of money. I, I got them and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't love the way they look. They're not really, um, that helpful to me. So, um. But it did come with these little tabbed pages and it just said one, two, three, four, five, six. And so I used washi tape and then wrote on the washi tape um, just how I'm using them right now. So what I have, I go through December 23rd, which is great because it's almost um, to the new year. And then in 2023, what I'm thinking here, hold on. Okay, so in 2023, I, like I said, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on different types of planners. Now these are, people are calling them Hobonichi dupes. I bought them off of AliExpress. Um, and I'll link to the video that I watched that convinced me like I wanted to buy these. Um, they're, they're similar to a Hobonichi in, in the layout and in the uh, paper quality. They're not, not quite as nice and they're not exactly the same either. Um, so these are all A5s and I'll just show you real quick what I have. So these two are what would be um, the Hobonichi cousin Avec. So this is, the Avec is just a year in two parts. So this is January through June. And this is July through December. Um, what's funny is I didn't even realize that's what I was buying because I bought it off AliExpress and all, it was all written in um, characters, I don't Japanese or Chinese. I'm sorry, I don't know which language it was, but it was a language that I couldn't read or speak. So <laughs> I was just kind of throwing it out there and I was like, well, I looked at the pictures and I thought, I don't know what exactly I thought, um, but I was wrong. I wanted the year in one book. What I got was two years. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I would say if you're looking at AliExpress, um, maybe check with people like in a Facebook group to see that you're buying the actual thing that you want. Um, so that is, this one's like the, the Hobonichi cousin, which is, it's similar. It's not the same. Um, I'll just show you real quick. These, it's got the monthly layouts. It does not, what's different is it does not have the weekly layouts in there too. Um, it's got the monthlies and then it's got the dailies. So this is one day. Can you see that? This is one day. Um, and it go, and there's, there's a little, grid of um, time if you wanted to keep a schedule, but then there's also plenty of space to, to use this in different ways. Um, and maybe at the end I can, I can add in some of the Hobonichi spreads that I've seen online that, that inspired me to, to buy this. Um, I don't know if I even said this is, the company that makes this is Kinbor. Um, so it's not Hobonichi, it's just similar to it. Um, so that's these, this has monthly spreads and daily, one page per day in it. And then this one, 
um, is also an A5. An A5 just means half a page. So if you had an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, um, this is half of an eight and a half by 11. So that's A5. Um, some people like a smaller one, but I write big and I have a lot to say. And so I wanted a bigger size. It does not bother me. Like this is not something that you would put in a purse. It's pretty big, um, but I don't care. It, that's not how I use it. So it doesn't bother me. Um, this one is weekly, um, but it's it's not like the Hobonichi Weeks. Again, maybe there's another one on AliExpress that, that is, but I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. But the, <laughs> what I bought um, was, this is just weeks. So, it, well, it's a month and weeks, obviously. So here's, here's your months. And then there's December of 2023. This says yearly plan. This is also plan of a new year. year. And this is where you start your week. So this is not, I believe the Hobonichi Weekly, it has the, the weeks horizontally. And then it has, this is just open space to write. Um, but that's not what this is. This is vertical columns for each day. And it has um, a little place column here for to-dos, or this is free space. And um, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, I can't really see what I'm showing you. Um, but this is weather, and then exercise, uh, food, exercise, and I guess if you um, went to the bathroom, uh, if you want to track your bowel movements, um, yeah, so <laughs> anyway, um, so this is starting the day at one in the morning. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this is like, hmm, can you see it? It's like sunrise. Um, but it's actually six, six in the morning. And then the water icon is for the hour. So that's seven in the morning. And then eight in the morning, then water at nine, 10, 11, water. This is midday, noon, and then they have military time. So 13 is one in the afternoon, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is supper time and sunsets, more water. 19, which is seven, eight o'clock, water, nine, 10, 11, and then midnight. And then there's a little bit of free space right here. Um, what I like about this is, so I like that this is all free. Um, this is your daily, like what's going on during the day, your schedule, and then you have free space here and free space here. So the reason I bought both of these is because um, I really wanted the weekly spread but I could tell from the from the pictures on AliExpress that there was not a weekly in here. And I think um, the video I watched also said that there's not a weekly in here. So that was that was a good heads up. So so I bought all three of these. But what I'm gonna do um, is I'm actually going to, and I'll make another video when I do it, I'm actually gonna rip all of this out and punch holes in it and stick it in here for 2023. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. It is kind of crazy. And part of me is like, maybe I should just make my own inserts and print them. Um, but I already have this. Um, and I really like the way, like if I, if I cut it all out and put it in my planner, um, then I can use it however I want. Um, one of the other things that I don't love about a dated bound planner is like the days that you don't really need. I hate that wasted space. Um, and in my, in the planners that I used to have, um, I would actually go back and like doodle or journal. There was something in me that was like, Oh, waste. I hate the waste. And so I had to like go back and use those, um, pages. Uh, so, 
to me, that is one of the big selling points of a planner that has rings um, that you can open and close. Um, it is a little bit, well, a lot. It is bulkier, um, for sure. Uh, but again, everything, you got to figure out what's important to you. And to me, I don't mind the bulk. I'm glad to have um, the freedom to pull pages in and out throughout the year and to kind of change on the fly as my schedule or the way I'm spending my time changes. I can also change how I'm using my planner. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, another time I'll get into kind of my goal setting and my big like to-do list back here, but for right now, that's probably enough. Um, so let me know in the comments if this was helpful or if you have any advice. I'm still kind of a newbie, obviously, when it comes to using rings, um, but super excited. And um, follow me on Instagram at Susan anyway, because I'll have more day-to-day -day stuff too. So that's it. Thanks.